A lot of the animation we do in Flash is based on graphics or other symbols in the library, but there is one type of animation we want to use a raw drawing for, and that is called a shape tween. What it lets me do is kind of morph between two shapes. So let me go ahead and make myself a circle on keyframe 1, and now my keyframe is filled in. And I'm going to go to frame, let's say, 30, and I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. And the keyboard shortcut to do that is F7. I can also just right-click here and tell it to insert a blank uh, keyframe. But let's use the keyboard shortcut, F7. And then I'm going to draw a different shape. I've got my poly star tool. I've, I've used a star previously, so I'm going to just draw me, myself a star here. And so on frame 30, I have this star. On frame 1, I have this circle right now. Um, these are just blank frames. But if I select any one of these in between frames, I can come down to the property inspector and choose to shape tween. And now what's happened is that this thing has guessed the way to morph um, to the next shape. If I want to go um, from one color to another, I can do that too. So let's take this guy and switch up his colors. Let's make it be, um, actually, let's just flip them. If I want to flip colors, I actually, if I have everything selected, I can just choose this little um, symbol over here where it looks like the, the black and white are switching, and it will invert it for me. So if I look at my tween now, and I'm, I'm watching my tween incidentally by just hitting the Enter key, now the color is fading too, so that's pretty cool. Um, and I can I can do this kind of tweening between text and a and a graphic, or between one shape and another, or between color or one color and another, or all different kinds of things. And um, that is for that to work, I need them to be um, raw graphics. I can tell they're raw because when I click on them, I can see the dots.